Nathan? Uh, almost. Nathan, huh? No. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna check my email for things get hectic. Okay. Busy day today? Oh, yeah. Lots of appointments. And Lowell? Yes, I'm coming in now. And the Fed raised rates a quarter point this morning. So I want everyone to be on a watch for fast sell-offs. Thanks. Yeah, this is Matt Lowell. Uh, Ralph's lowered prices on strained carrots today, so we're gonna need to make a huge buy when the supermarket opens. Yeah, thanks. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. I've got an 8 o'clock with one of our new investors. And I have an 8.30 jamboree. Don't let those lonely single mothers flirt with you today, okay? I can't help it. Yeah, I'm the jamboree stud. Yeah. Set. Nice guns. Have a good day today, Nathan. Mm. You too, stud. Mm -hmm. job decorating that house in Pasadena. Well, that's, that's great, honey. Congrats. So now we have two things to celebrate at dinner tonight. What's the other thing? Oh, ha ha. Happy birthday, sweetie. Oh, my God. What? I forgot my own birthday. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Well, the work's been keeping you pretty busy. Well, it's, it's understandable. But it'll all be worth it when you're made deputy DA. Well, we, we can't be sure I'm gonna get the promotion. Of course you're getting the promotion. And then we'll have a fabulous wedding, buy a big fabulous house in the Palisades, have fabulous parties, and be LA's most fabulous couple. For your birthday, I'm getting you a thesaurus. If I remember your birthday, which I probably won't. God, don't you think there's something wrong with a person who forgets his own birthday? Nothing's wrong with you, David. Now, stop stressing and open your present. This pen was used by Earl Warren when he was on the Supreme Court. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Oh. Maybe someday you can use the pen when you're a judge. Or the governor. Or president of the United States. Oh, yeah. I could decorate the hell out of the White House. I'm sorry, I'm late. I had to get some shares in after hours trading. Mwah. Look at you. That's my boo boo. Has he been a good boy? Yes, he has. Then I had to call a loan guy to see what the holdup is with a refi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Is he the best baby in the world? Oh, yes, he is. And then I had to talk the Lexus dealer into putting us at the top of the waiting list for the hybrid SUV. Does he want his new SUV? Yes, mm he -hmm. yeah. does. So, are we at the top of the list or what? Well, it depends. Are you willing to let me show my boobs to a swarthy, overweight car salesman? Both boobs? You want GPS? Let them fly. We're here! Hi, Jerry. Hi, Anne. Hi, Phyllis. Oh, my Hello, little Nathan. Oh. What would you like to do tonight, huh? He says he wants to watch Roadhouse. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so, Dad. Uh, you gotta have some kind of male influence. From Patrick Swayze. Besides, I'm with Nathan all day. Yeah, I know. Would you like to play patty cake? <gasps> or, or maybe read a book? Or maybe it's enough just resting your head on a woman's bosom for once. Okay, we get it. I should be at home and Matt should work because that's how you did it. Well, I wish I could be at home with the baby too, but it just works out better financially if I work and Matt stays at home. But that doesn't mean I'm not a good mom, okay? I'm a great mom. Of course you are, dear. Why do you always tell people you wish you could stay at home? Because if that's really what you want, I'll go back to work. I like work. I know. It's okay. It's just, I feel really guilty about not feeling more guilty about not staying at home. Well, at least you're not overanalyzing the whole thing. Have you decided on a wine? Uh, I'm still thinking about Why don't it. Why start with the Riesling and then move on to the Syrah? Try and be nice to David. Don't mess with him like you always do. My father's a snob and we have nothing in common. 
I gotta amuse myself somehow. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, David. Hey. Happy birthday. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you look all roughly. Oh, thank you. Ah, good good rest. Yeah. Happy birthday, David. Thanks. So, how's it going? Oh, you know, same old, same old. David just got a huge conviction. Oh. Tell them, honey. Uh, you know, murder one, uh, trick the guy into confessing on the stand, it's not really worth talking about. Does, um, does anyone know if this olive oil is state bottled? More of a butter, man. Hey, hey, Rebecca called. She's bringing a date. Oh. She's been seeing him for it. Get ready. Five and a half days. Oh, my God. Maybe he's the one. <laughs> Oh, here she is. And she's alone. I wanted to go away for the weekend. He couldn't afford to go where I wanted to go. I said I'd pay the difference. He said he wasn't comfortable with that, so instead of simply canceling the trip, he broke up with me. Same story, different jerk. Well, if it's a cruise, I'll go. Sorry. I'm well, sorry, sweetheart. Would you like to see a menu, miss? <sighs> Prime rib, rare steamed veggies instead of potatoes, and a vodka martini extra dry for olives. Thank you. Well, I'll have the pistachio crusted salmon and you're having the filet, right, sweetie? Yeah, I can tell him, sweetie. I'll have the filet, please. How would you like the filet? Medium rare. Hey. Sorry. Ask him. How would you like it cooked, sir? Medium rare. Do we all get cake? Shh. Make a wish. Um, before I blow out the candle, I have an announcement. Oh, thank you. I got it. Do you need cash? I have some... So, David, what's the announcement? Did you get promoted? I quit my job today. I'm going to become a chef. <coughs> <coughs> Here you go. You can make such a huge decision without even discussing it with me first. I'm your fiance, for God's sake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spring it on you. I, I didn't even know I was gonna quit until the moment I did it. But why did you quit? I, I, I thought you loved being a lawyer. And, and you look so good in suits. No lawyer loves being a lawyer. That's why they love beating other lawyers. Because they hate them. I mean... Let's admit, I have turned into a boring, arrogant, Birthday forgetting jerk. But you're the best boring, arrogant, birthday forgetting jerk in the city. But I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the doing something I really love guy. And you really love cooking? Yeah. David, this is crazy. You used to talk about your, your future in politics. You never mentioned cooking. Can you say cooking without making that face? Cooking. Apparently not. Elizabeth, come on. This can't be a total surprise to you. I've cooked us breakfast every Saturday morning since we met. And your breakfasts are great, David, but everyone knows how to make eggs. It's not just eggs. My smoothies are legendary. Is that some kind of euphemism? No. So that's the kind of chef you want to be? An egg and... Juice chef? Well, actually, I'm, I'm not really sure what type of cuisine I want to focus on, but... You quit your job to become a chef, and you don't even know what kind of chef you want to be? Elizabeth. <gasps> Calm down. <gasps> Everything, everything's gonna be all right. Everything's all right. Here, let me make you a smoothie. I don't want a freaking smoothie! All right, sorry. I just... I really need you to be okay with this. Okay. Only say okay if you're really okay. Fine. Fine, you're really okay, or fine, you're not okay. But I told you to stop saying okay unless it was really okay, so you said fine. <gasps> I see. Oh no, here comes Super Long Sherman. Watch out, greedy shipping company president. You force my men to work overtime without a new contract, I'll run you over with the forklift of justice. Vroom, 
Phyllis, they're home. Let's go. Well, so long, kids. And uh, just so you know, your hamper was overflowing, so I did your whites. TV? Sure. Whatever you want to watch, sweetie. How about the ladies' channel? Ooh, our makeover show. You know, I hear there's a great one tonight where a team of doctors surgically remove a man's dignity. I don't mean to do it, honey. It's just really hard when I'm in charge at work all day and then turning it off at night. I realize that. But when you get home, even though I may have Cheerios in my hair, you need to remember that. Yeah, I wear the pants in this family. I'm the man of this house, me. Man. Pants. I'm sorry, Matt. I won't do it again, I promise. The next time we're out, I'll defer to you 100%. I gotta tell you, though, it was kind of a turn-on when you yelled at me just now. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take me upstairs. You're doing it again. Uh, oh, um, I mean... Take me upstairs, if that's what you want. Too late. So tonight we're going on a makeup date where I defer to Matt and let him make all the decisions. What was that? Nothing. Hey, what did you say earlier about being fine about David quitting his job? That, um, fine with it? God, I'm so glad I'm single. Look, what can I say? I mean, David and I were supposed to be a dual income super couple, okay? And now we could end up like... Like Matt and me? I'm sorry, Anne, but I don't want to be the breadwinner. It's just, it's not my thing. Well, you might not have to be. Is he a good cook? His smoothies are legendary. Is that some kind of euphemism? Sadly, it is not. Mm. Hey, what's with the toes? King's color, see? Home. Away. Oh. Oh. Speaking of which, I have some big clients who are looking for center seats on the glass tonight, hint, hint. Sorry, taking a date. <gasps> No, no, don't get excited. He's only in it for the tickets, and I'm only in it for the desperately needed sex. Oh, no. Oh, come here. Oh. 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 That's not it. And they just fed him. Why don't you give him some tequila? What, it worked on you in college? A lot. Oh, I got it. OK. You working, Mom? Yes. Mấy bà đi làm kiểu này chắc là không biết cách nuôi con. Tội nghiệp. I'm sure she's just talking about your cuticles. Coi bàn chân của bà.